Rocky. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be sharing with you a self-care routine with you and it's about a mango facial. You heard it right. It's a mango facial that I've been doing for more than 10 years now and it's a tested and tried method. So I thought I'll just go ahead and share it with you guys. The whole process of exactly what do I do. This video that I've shot is about 7 to 8 hours after the facial was done. So and this is by the way with absolutely natural light without any makeup. I wanted to do this outside but for reasons that you'll see in the bloopers of this video you'll see why I couldn't shoot outside. It was terrible anyways. So this uh, facial that I do is not necessarily with mango. It is with any fresh fruit that I can have, uh, get my hands on and especially the ones that are in season and uh, all of the fruits that I use have to be organic uh, they I don't get them from the market I try not to get them from the market except for the bananas because I don't grow bananas but if you ever get your hands on fresh fruit just make the best of it and use it for a facial and this is absolutely zero waste and absolutely organic and economical as well so I hope you like what I do for myself to take care of my skin let's watch it So I'm going to show you how exactly do I do my mango facial. So this is the mango pulp I'm going to be using. By the way, my voice is echoing. Please excuse that because I'm in my washroom. And I'm going to use this but not before I actually wash my face. Do not have a facial on dirty face or sweaty face, right? Because this is a humid season. I've got to wash my face so I'm going to wash that and then I'm going to begin. Okay, make sure that you use a bathroom area for this because this gets pretty messy, right? It's just like eating a mango and applying it on your face. So I'm going to just keep it here in the wash basin itself. And I'm going to start with the facial. So make sure that you go in circular motions across your face. Cover the entire face and the neck. I think this is the best organic facial that nature has to offer. So the trick that I use to do my facial is basically uh, I make sure that I go clockwise and then I go anti-clockwise just to make sure that I am taking care of and covering my entire face. So I'll first go clockwise with 20 circles with each uh, swirl and then 20 times like that so this is how I'll do it this is very messy so I repeat please do that in the washroom where you can clean up immediately after so the back of the neck has to be done as well this is very moisturizing so once I'm done with this part I actually exfoliate as well that's at the end so I'll show you exactly what do I do with my entire regime where I do a mango facial the eyes uh, it doesn't hurt the eyes at all I've been doing this like for I, I know years now and uh, this has actually really really helped i only go for facials professionally when i have some big event but at home i generally go for this process of fresh fruit i'd say cleansing i wouldn't actually call it a facial so oh i got it all over me <laughs> so this process of going around in circles 
clockwise and then anti-clockwise actually helps me keep a track of time as well when I'm doing this alone. So every time I do this like 20 times this way and 20 times that way, I do it about 50 times and I think that's about it. It will take about 15 minutes to do this and I'm good to go. Important tip that I think that I should give you here is that you should not use the tip of the mango where the stem is. Just make sure that you cut it off as I did in the video that I showed you earlier than that. Just so because that has certain residue that is very potent and uh, that could in case the mango is not ripe enough give you marks on your face but the rest of the mango is okay so just get the cheeks and do not get the, the part where there is the stem because if you know how to eat a mango uh, like we do otherwise the small mangoes that we suck on uh, you always take the juice out first and then start sucking on it right that's because that is that part that water or that initial juice that comes out from around the stem is very potent so don't use that use the other part of the mango and you'll be absolutely fine okay so another tip that is very very important is that you should not under any circumstances take the mangoes for this kind of a cleansing or facial process that are ripened artificially with the masala you see how how people do it when they sell it in the market so the kind of mango that you can use for this facial is the one that directly falls off the tree which is organic okay uh, some or a mango that uh, it some that is uh, or a mango that you have ripened at home by wrapping it up and keeping it for a while so use that mango that you have ripened yourself or has ripened on the tree the one that is on the tree is the best and uh, that's what I use. I've got so many mangoes. This is the last thing that I do with the mangoes. <laughs> Once I have the last lot left, generally, so I use it for facials, then I store the bulb and uh, keep it for mango shakes or other dishes later. So, mango on the mango season. Mmm, mango. <laughs> so I guess I've used up the entire mango that was there. I have massaged my neck, my face. I'll make sure that I don't leave my ears out. We always tend to forget them when we are cleansing or doing any kind of facial routine. Okay, and also in case there's some left, just go for it. Just make sure that you can cleanse your entire body with it really. No worries, it will actually give you a very good skin everywhere. So this is what I do for the mango facial. For the second step, I am going to go for a pack, which is also going to be used as an exfoliant later. You will see, but... Uh, I can't show you that process till I wash my face, so I'll wash my face and see you after. Okay, so the second thing that I do is I take some red sandalwood powder and some rose water and I just put it on my face to make it a face pack. So just so enough to cover my face. I think you can see, right? And I have my rose water in this bottle, so I'll just spray it and make it wet. That's the rose water. Okay, so I think you can see this. This is the mixture that I make in the same katori, and I apply it on my face. So now, because Sandalwood is a little chorus, it's not exactly smooth, the red sandalwood paste. It kind of gives an exfoliation to my face as well and acting as a face pack. I know I look scary, but a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do to look pretty or presentable.
at least. Okay. So used up all. Now I'll just with a very light hand make sure that I spread it on my face and while I do that it's exfoliating my face as well. So I'll put the link below for the red sandalwood powder. I have had this for about more than two years now. It just won't finish because it just takes like half a teaspoon and I do this like twice a month um, as in when whatever fruit I'm using. So this is Khadi by the way, a Khadi product. Otherwise before this I bought this from Isha Ashram, the same sandalwood powder and that was equally good. So red sandalwood powder you can get anywhere basically, it's the same. So till the time this dries up, I'm going to sit back and relax and I'll probably do my foot spa, I don't know, I'll just see if I have the patience. But uh, this is the one that I do just to take care of my face at least. Economical, easy, organic, wonderful. You'll see the results later. So that's about it. I'm not going to touch it till the time it dries up now and then I'm going to take a bath and I'll see you after. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the effects of my mango facial after I did it, but this crow just won't let me talk. I think she has just laid some eggs nearby and she won't let me in my own garden. You've taken over my garden, girl. Yeah, so I'll just quickly <laughs> let you see the effects of the facial and you can see that my skin has gone really soft. Uh, excuse the crow, I can't help. All right, I'm going to go fine. Okay, so that's my facial and that is my skin after the facial. I will see you. I think I'll have to go now. Bye.